Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you all those little chores and jobs around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what I want to show you how to do is how to put drywall screws into the wall. Only a couple of tools that we need. We need a drill, a Phillips head bit for the drill, and or a drywall screw adapter to make sure that they go in perfect. Now I'm going to use both of these to show you the difference between the two. All right, so what we have is the edge of a wall here and this drywall is not attached to this piece of wood over here. And what I'm going to show you how to do is actually put the drywall screws into the wall. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to use the drill, the Phillips head bit into the drill. Okay, it's in. And this is what happens sometimes when you do this kind of thing with a Phillips head bit. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is I'm going about halfway in between because I know that this 2x4 here is an inch and a half wide. So I'm going to put it right about at 3 quarters of an inch out and I am going to slowly so you don't wreck anything. Okay. Now what happens is sometimes you get a little aggressive with it and the head of the screw goes beyond the paper. What's holding the drywall to the 2x4 is the fact that the head goes just below the surface of this but doesn't break the paper and go through because the gypsum board, that little dusty stuff in between here, doesn't hold anything. It's the outside paper that does. So you got to get it just below the surface. Now, that's why I like to use that other bit, this one here. So I'm going to put this one in, and I'm going to, nice thing is, is that it's magnetic, so you can put the screw in the end of it, and you can move it around and it's not going to fall over on you. And we're going to try it again, and this, this time, same place. and it's perfectly embedded. I don't have to worry about going too far, not far enough. I can, it's perfectly embedded. And we're good. Let me show you that. This screw here, the bottom screw, went just below the paper. This one here, as you can see, that little rim around it, makes a perfect indentation. So it goes, this is the perfect one. It's gonna hold this to the 2x4 behind it perfectly. So that one is the way to go. All right, so you ask yourself, well, how far apart should these be? Should they be this close together when you're screwing in a piece of drywall to a 2x4 to, a to secure it? No, there are some guys that say every six inches, every 10 inches, every 12 inches. Um, quite honestly, if you're not gonna sit there with a ruler and mark everything off, just go like this with your hand. As wide as your hand is like this, put, the next, put, the, put in the next screw. It makes it nice and easy. You're going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Perfect. I'm going to go like this. Magnetic. I'm going to go like this. All right. Perfect. It worked out nice. And they're at a nice range. Let's get that bottom one in. I know you can't see it very well, but we're going to move you down just a hair. How about that? We're going to go like this from that good one. We're going to go right about here. And look at that. That's how it works. All right. So putting in drywall screws is not really all that hard. This is relatively cheap, probably $10. This really doesn't dull out. You'll use it, put it in your tool bag if you're going to be using 
a lot of drywall, doing a lot of drywalling and, and all that. So this is a very, very nice thing to have along with this, of course. So once again, we have a nice little tips on what we're, what we're doing with, the, with drywalling, putting in screws, putting, in the, putting on the drywall mud and all of that kind of stuff. So putting it all together, all these, all these things, all these little videos that I've done with the drywalling, you can do a whole room yourself. It takes two people to put the drywall up. Somebody's got to hold it and then you can screw it in. Once it's screwed in, it's a one man job to go ahead and finish it off. And that, that's you. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Of course you can do it. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Hit that button, I think it's over here. And if you would please, that would be wonderful. Um, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Of course you can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how, just like I did. And I'll see you on the next video.